This chicken might actually make me swear. <laughs> oh, <the> good. <laughs> <laughs> Carrot cake. Roasted chicken rice. Uh, the one breast meat must be the Thai meat, guys. Wow. <laughs> mee. Nasi lemak. Ooh, mm. wow. Nasi mm. lemak. Every nasi lemak needs, needs, needs to have chicken wing. Must have egg. Very good sambal. I think you're missing out on the most important actually. Cucumber. The, no. No. <laughs> the, the rice. Rice, rice. The rice. Of course, the, the rice. rice. They should reduce like really fresh comments and get the whole nice creaminess rice that you want. Most importantly, uh, the nasi must lemak. Not call fragrant rice for what? what? You know I eat nasi lemak right? I always ask for white rice. <laughs> Bless for me! Is that a crime? Oh um... my god, it's like Milo Pink put your tea Milo. Yes! Got the bunle. Got the bunle or not? Nasi lemak. Look like a home cooked nasi lemak. Mm. Right? Yeah, you can smell the chicken also, right? Well, the chicken actually touched my nose, but it was the best moment of my day. It doesn't smell too oily. The chicken has some kind of black beads on it, but it's the kind that, like, wow, you know they have been through some great frying. Yeah, it's actually quite fragrant. It just looks like normal white rice, right? Quite concerned, also, it's like clumping up, also. It's, I mean, it's, it's the kind that cook a bit too long. There are some nasi lemak that is more pandan, mm. but this one is like very gingery. And I so appreciated how the aftertaste has this very mild nuttiness from the coconut. There's the whole like lemak flavor we're talking about. What hits me most about the rice, right, is that the flavor kind of lingers in your mouth for a while. Oh, the chili I like because it's a sweet and spicy kind. You can see that they added like a lot of onions inside mm. it, so, so you can really taste like strong onion taste. This chili is sweeter than usual, but the spice definitely still there. So like, there's still well, a yeah. kick. Nah. That's a pretty decent egg. I mean, I love eggs lah. So whatever kind of egg you slap at me, I'll eat one. The color is like quite nicely fried. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. You can definitely taste a little bit of the char. This one right is like crispy, yeah. But at the same time, right, it holds its integrity. It's not like you bite and crumble, you know what I mean? Inside the meat is like very smooth, not too dry, very, very juicy. And then the meat itself, right, also got flavor, so it's not just a skin. It has a hint of pepper also. If I eat at a store, right, I will accidentally order two plates. For a dish with a lot of fried components, uh, I'm surprised that it's not that oily. Yeah. I can eat another one, yeah. Or rather, another two more. It's really, really nice. More. Wow! Yeah. Just start off the egg. It's the runny kind, the uh, wobbly wobbly shiny kind. This rice <sighs> is the pandan mix. Yes, pandan. Look Easy. like papais. Ah, really look like papais. Or Jolly Bee, yeah. There's even this armor. I think the coconut smell is quite strong. The long grain rice is actually uh, much lighter, much fluffier as so. well. Mm. Looks like the rice just come out of the pandan leaf. The taste in the rice, not as strong as the smell. This is very subtle. I actually like subtle flavoured nasi lemak rice because I want to let the sambal take over. It is sambal not as sweet, but the kick is stronger, yeah? Ooh. The sambal is actually the main player in this thing. Bonus point for running it. <laughs> This chicken is not as flavorful as the first one. See, it does seem to be a very carefully thought of marinade. But overall, I think the tenderness of the meat is good. The batter legit tastes like biscuits. So I took that small strip without the skin. Mm. Uh. Actually, the chicken itself is already very flavorful. Eh. This is the omelette kind. Wow, see, so you got ota. Wow, it's still a fish, eh? When you have wow. this fish, right, it means that store confirmed there for like 10 over years already. <laughs> Green color rice, fish, ota. Chicken wing look like a bit the Chinese really style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the OG. You see the chicken, you know, eh, they're not trying to be funny. Eh. They just yeah. normal chicken wings. This chicken yeah. never put what batter is kind of thing. They just fry the chicken in it. This smells like normal white rice. Yeah, the lava factor a bit yeah. toned down. Eh? This tastes very typical. Mediocre. I need to my most favorite chili out of the three that we had so far. You don't really taste a lot of different types of seasoning in the chili. Just sweet and spicy. It's okay. It's like your everyday kind of chili lot. The sambal, right? Obviously, it's quite punchy. That's about it. Feels like the, the flavor very one dimensional. One thing I hate about this kind of nasi lemak, right? The egg, oh! Cannot be any thinner already, no? This is like one sixth of an egg, eh? Just salty. You don't taste egg at all. Oh, well, in nasi lemak, it's not my favorite. Lah. I think this one is a little bit too thin. It doesn't feel like a dish for the nasi lemak. I feel like the fish a bit oily. Ah. What does this smell like? Chicken? Like just chicken, a little bit of oil, right? Yeah. Okay, the chicken, so this one like lean chicken, then like go to the gym. And, <laughs> yeah. Super skinny. Yeah. Don't expect a crust. Oh, 
Are you quite nice the chicken wing? <laughs> okay, I take that back. <laughs> It's much more leaner than the normal chicken that we just had. So the meat also is less juicier so. But at the same time, it's flavorful. The taste-wise, it's not bland. It's just not as fancy as like the other nasi lemak. Lah. I would say that the chicken wing is the star of the plate. I was expecting it to be a little bit underwhelming, but it turns out that their chicken wing is quite on point. Now this... I know what this is. ...is the look <laughs> that we're looking for. This is long grain rice. Very pandanish. Once again, you hear that? The chicken look quite badass. Eh? <laughs> Smell nothing much. Oh, straight away chickens, yeah. The lamak level is like off the scales Shred for the this one. Chicken. This rice is the most tasty out of all. The smell, right, is very enticing. The taste is also very flavorful. <laughs> this is the first sambal, Sorry, right? Yeah. Well, I feel that the sweetness matches the spice. I find it a bit too sweet. Too sweet for my liking. Mm. Yeah. I, mean, I like it. I mean, the chili somehow doesn't go so well with the rice. It looks a little bit bow chop, but this means, right, they have to work so fast because the queue is so long. Uh. Then they just, ayah, fry. Wow, crispy, crispy, yeah, the egg. It's not very wholesome. It's like, there's some like holes in the egg. I like the of egg. This is the first chicken uh, that I use my spoon uh, and it's tender enough for me to just shh and come out. Biscuity, crunchy, crispy. I'm missing a lot of oil here. So maybe the temperature in this is too low or too high. Have you eaten this nasi lemak before? I feel like I have. Me too. <laughs> this feels vaguely familiar. <laughs> Very impressed by the rice, definitely. The rice is a real winner here. The rice really very good. The best. Mm -hmm. You see the colour of this rice? They wrap inside the banana leaf and never wrap properly. That means ah, uh, no time to care for this kind of stuff. It means ah. Uh, <laughs> Long queue. Uh -huh. Uh, maybe a bit of ginger. But the lemma factor not that high again. Actually not bad eh. I don't like rice that are too dry. Feels like this rice, right? You will ask for extra helping as compared to the others. Really this like chicken rice. Chili is a dry dry kind. This sambal looks a little bit less mashed up. Seems to be clearer ingredients like there's onion in it. This one's really sweet. It's not spicy. Mild the flavour. Very mild. Yeah, very mild. A lot of sugars, yeah. Okay, chili, not much flavour, really. Oh, wow, this egg is chili. totally fried eh. Ayo. Mm. Oh, wow, actually not bad, not bad. I like this egg. You hear that? Usually also not much flavour right? Slightly better Hmm, slightly better. It's not like bland la. It seems like the flavour is all happening at the, the skin level, not at the flesh. This chicken might actually make me swear. <laughs> really bad! Oh, the <laughs> good! <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I think the dish quite... Mm, not the best. I'm a bit disappointed with uh, Pongo Nasi Lemak. I thought it was quite good uh, Nasi Lemak. But then, you know, today I tried. Compared to all the other Nasi Lemak, it's not as good as I thought it can be. The last oh, one. God. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I don't know man, I wouldn't have guessed that it's the International Muslim one. Yeah. When you have a name that just say International Muslim, I automatically never think so much. I'm like, ah, you know. I know your favourite. Was there ever any doubt? Number five, International Muslim. That's right. That's my favorite. Um, I think that's also my favorite in a sense. Like I like the whole package. Chicken is pretty good. It feels a bit unhealthy, but in a good way. And the rice is great. I mm. like soft rice. Bule. Bule. Because I think the chicken has the best flavor. The sambal was just nice also. Thank you for watching this episode of Taste Testers. If you crave for our videos, don't hesitate to watch them over there. Mm, and if you think this video is power, right? Remember to like, share, and subscribe. So that we can eat more food. Bye. Food. Feed us more. Feed us. Chicken wings.